Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to continue looking at Kinetic Studio or Kinetic Studio. If you haven't seen our previous video, please make sure you do so first. This is just a quick update video on a recent update that has happened to this online application. And I just want to kind of talk about the new tools and how the Kinetic Studio website or application has become a lot more useful in the last few weeks. So whereas before we could create an animation using any video clip and we could use sample animations, etc., we didn't really have a dedicated animation timeline option where we could stitch together different animation clips. That has all changed and I'm going to show you in this video. So first off, I'm just going to create a new project. I'm just going to call this sample, confirm. I'm going to add a clip and I'm just going to choose an animation from the library. Now, if you haven't seen our previous video, which I've strongly urge you, you should have done by this point, you can obviously upload your own video clips. Again, it doesn't do very well if the limbs are very close to the body. It's very good for kind of wide gestures. Again, when you're not a kind of clear background, again, helps the algorithm better. But we're just going to use the inbuilt animation library. And we are greeted with this familiar site where we have our character. So up at the top, we have our preview editing character and scene. So I'm just going to choose a character quickly. And we're just going to choose one of these prefabs. So let's just choose this person here, this person in a yellow shirt. And again, if you haven't seen our previous video, you can create your own character. But I'm just going to utilize a prefab. Uh, I'm going to look, look at scenes and see if we can change the background. So let's put our character in this factory canteen, like so. And this just basically adjusts and controls things like the lighting and such on our models. We can even add some props to our scene. So let's add a barbershop chair and just move this and scale this down. Like so. And we can play about with that and just add more and more. But obviously, if you're exporting this into Blender or any other program, you could just have the character do the animation, which is what we're kind of focusing on, and then export that and build your own scene. But just to sort of show you that you can now do it within the Kinetic Studio site. But the thing is that the big thing that's been added is if we go to back to editing and we go to animation. You can see here we have our library of animation clips, so different types, whether it's a ground animation, gymnastics, or stretching, etc. So now we have a kind of library of these animation clips. We can just simply click on one and it adds it to our timeline. It creates a timeline at the bottom. So if we click play, you'll see this is automatically applied to our character. But what this allows us to now do is we can actually control how long these clips are, so how long the character does the dance dancing for by just dragging the handles at the beginning and end. We can add multiple animation clips. So when we want to add or add these clips together, we can put them into our timeline. So we should have playing from this and then it will swap to this animation. Now, because we didn't let the animation kind of play out to its end, it's going to kind of not look quite right. So you'll see that some animation clips don't kind of blend well together. We get this kind of jump from one to another. So just bear that in mind. We can still use our clips, that our videos that we've uploaded. As you can see, it does sometimes take a little bit of time because we are depending on how good your internet connection is and the servers at the time. So let's uh, let's say I don't want this slow dance. I could delete it. So I select. I'll just pause the video. So I select that clip, and I should be able to delete. Delete layer.
And just basically, that's the biggest addition. So from the last video, again, I just want to kind of do a quick update. This isn't a sponsored video. I'm not being contacted by this company in any shape or form. I'm not promoting this software. It's just a software if you don't want to go out there and create your own animations. There are other tools out there like Mixamo, which does similar things. Uh, but I just wanted to sort of show you that there has been a fairly significant update to the Kinetic Studio since the last video. And again, we can always go to export. It exports our animation and video as a FBX and GLB. GLBs can be used in Spark AR, for example. And again, we can, it's compatible with all leading animation and game engines out there. So remember to like, comment and subscribe if you've got anything else you'd like to see or any kind of additions or updates that you want to share with myself or the community, just comment down below. And have a grandastic evening. Goodbye.